Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of p if we have p divided by 3 is equals to square root of p and we solve this problem for all the values of p. So here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will, we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous roots. Uh, so further I can explain the difference between solution and extraneous root. Uh, also, I can solve this problem for two methods. I hope so you like both of these methods But if you have any other method in your mind, so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section And now we move towards our first method uh, And in first method uh, here we just interchange uh, this 3 with this square root of p It means that we move this square root of p into the left hand side uh, in the place of 3 and we move this 3 uh, to the right hand side so after replacing these two values it will be written as p divided by square root of p is equals to 3 and now you see here uh, we know about that if we have uh, any digit a we write this a as square root of a multiplied by square root of a so here according to this rule uh, we write uh, this p as into the form of square root uh, so we write it as square root of p multiplied by square root of p divided by square root of p is equals to 3 and uh, now you see here we have this square root of p is cancelled out by this square root of p and we will get here square root of p is equals to 3 and uh, further in the next step because we solve this problem for the values of p uh, so for this we need to remove this square root sign so after taking squaring on both of the sides uh, this will be written as square root of p and its whole square is equals to 3 square and now you see here we have this 2 and this square root are gone and we get here p is equals to this 3 square and 3 square is equals to 9. So this is the value of p we, uh, which we get here from first method. And now here in the next steps we need to verify that is this root be the solution of the given equation or is this root be the uh, extraneous root of the given equation. So for this we need to copy down given question statement here it is p divided by 3 is equals to square root of p and now uh, here uh, in order to verification of this value <coughs> we substitute the value of p on both of the sides and after substituting this it will be written as 9 divided by 3 is equals to square root of p and the value of p is 9. Okay. so it will become here square root of 9 and now in the next step we need to cancel these terms and we get here 3 3 is a 9 and uh, in the left hand side we obtain 3 only and in the right hand side we have square root of 9 and we know that square root of 9 is equals to 3 so this means that left hand side is equals to right hand side so uh, it means that the value of p is equals to 9 is satisfied over this given question statement uh, so that uh, our final conclusion about uh, the first method is that uh, here we write the solution set of the given equation and the solution set of the given equation is 9 only okay because 9 is satisfied our given question statement and uh, here uh, in the next step I can uh, again solve this problem uh, in the second method and in the second method we need to copy down given question statement here uh, so, so in the second method first we need to copy down given question statement here the given question statement is p divided by 3 is equals to square root of p so here uh, I can just give uh, I can just use a uh, squaring technique uh, to find uh, the roots of this equation so for this here first you see that this 3 is divided by left hand side so when we move it into the right hand side it will be written as p is equals to this 3 is divided by here when we move here it will be multiplied by there it will become 3 times of square root of p and uh, here in the second method i can just give i can just uh, give another technique to find the roots for this here we will just apply 
squaring on both of the sides so when we will take squaring on both of the sides it will be written as p square is equals to 3 times square root of p and its whole square and uh, further in the next step we have this is p square is equals to here you have this is 3 and we know that 3 square becomes 9 and but here first we uh, apply the square separately on both of these values and it will be written as 3 square into square root of p and its whole square and now you see here this 3 square becomes this 9 and this 2 and this square root are gone and we will get here p only so further in the next step uh, here uh, we need to move this 9p to the uh, left hand side or in other words uh, we will just uh, move 9p into the left hand side and after moving this into the left hand side it will become p square minus 9p is equal to 0 and uh, uh, here you see that both of these terms involve p so we will take common p from here and we get p minus 9 is equals to 0 and now we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write p is equals to 0 and the second case is we write p minus 9 is equals to 0 so this is the first uh, root of the given equation and from here we get the value of p is equals to plus 9 this is the second root of the given equation but here in the first method i can already uh, verify the value of p and you see that the value of p is satisfied our given question statement and here we need to verify the second value of p that is p is equals to 0 so for verification of this value of p uh, we again copy down given question statement here it is p divided by 3 is equals to square root of p and when we put uh, this value of p is equals to 0 on both of the sides it will become 0 divided by 3 is equals to square root of 0 and we know that 0 divided by 3 becomes 0 and square root of 0 becomes here also 0 so this shows that uh, the values of uh, the second value of p is also satisfied our given question statement and the solution set in the second method is uh, 0 and 9 okay i cannot verify the second value of p here because i can verify this value of 9 into the first method so this is the final solution of the given uh, question and this is the final answer thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos